I'm Jennifer Klo, and I am currently serving as the Manager of Recruitment and Outreach for the School of Social Work here at WMU. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about uh, our social work minor and what that all entails. So we have uh, a really great option for a social work minor here at Western. And uh, folks might be wondering why would I want to do that? Uh, the great thing about social work is that you can learn important skills about how individuals, groups, and systems work that really can apply to every field. Because no matter what you do, you're going to be working with people. Uh, and this is a great way to learn about what makes people tick and how to best hone those people skills to successfully work together on teams and in businesses. So it's a great way to learn those skills. You can also learn about ways to advocate for social justice causes and issues that matter to you, which we know uh, as the growing awareness of issues like racism, sexism, ableism, homophobia, as these things have become more commonly understood, uh, many of you are looking for ways to make a difference and social work has this social justice component baked into our code of ethics and we are constantly looking for ways to advance social justice. And so this is a great way to kind of add that on either for something that you can do within your profession or a skill set that you can use uh, to pursue these causes that you care about outside of your profession as well. It's also a great way to explore the ethics of working in human service fields and to kind of test the waters if you're interested in attending graduate school for an MSW. So if you're pretty far along in your undergraduate degree and don't want to switch majors, but you're interested in attending graduate school, this is a great way to kind of test it out and see if social work is right for you. Because you can come to graduate school for social work without an undergraduate in social work, it just takes you a little bit longer. It's important to note what a social work minor is not. It is not enough to get a social work license or to qualify you for our advanced standing social work program. So just make sure that if you are wanting to be a social worker um, that you explore what it would look like either to switch your major or to come to graduate school because a minor won't be enough for that. It's really just meant to be an enhancement for your current chosen field of practice. So what makes social work special? What's our secret ingredients? Uh, a couple things. We use what we call the strengths perspective in uh, as opposed to something called the pathology approach. The pathological approach is looking at what's wrong, um, how can we fix it, what diagnosis can we give, and the strengths perspective is looking at what do uh, this family, community, individual have going right for them. What are individual characteristics? What are assets that they have? What are support systems that we can build on so that we can, one, empower the person to make changes in their own lives um, and to hopefully work ourselves out of a job. So the strengths perspective is, is really helpful, I think, in all aspects of life, not just in social work practice, um, as you look at how to build on what is going right in the world. But we also use a person and environment approach. So we look beyond just an individual's history or behavior. We look also how the world affects them. So for instance, if someone comes to me because they're unemployed, it's not just about looking at their resume and their interview skills, getting them relevant experience. It's also looking at sexism or ageism or racism in hiring practices or um, what is affecting the economy, maybe a global economic uh, pandemic uh, or looking at access to important services like affordable child care or transportation. And so we're looking not just how to make it better for this person in front of us, but also how to make it better for everyone who might be affected by these systems that are causing these issues. And those are great quote, ingredients uh, to any career path, because I think those are important ways to look at the world that 
can help you solve problems and make the world a better place to live, no matter what skill set you're applying to them. So here are the requirements for a social work minor. You would take our social work services and professional roles and our social welfare and social institution as your required courses. And then you get to pick three of the following classes. So interviewing and assessment is gonna work on individual skills, working with individuals and families, um, culture, ethnicity, and inequality is gonna look like, look at injustices and systems and all the isms. Human behavior and social environment is looking more at you know, our developmental theories around people and how folks grow and learn. And uh, ethics, obviously, is going to look at uh, our choices. We have a professional code of ethics, and so you can look at how that might play out in your given profession or any 5,000 level social work course, which are those combined undergrad and grad courses that usually have a special topic. So if you're interested in any of this, I would encourage you to reach out to myself or Jill Hamilton, who is the advisor for social work, pre-social work and social work minor students. Uh, and she can help add the minor to your degree program and figure out how it might fit into graduation. So love to hear from you. If you have questions about the minor, the major or graduate school, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can reach me at swrk-admi at wmich.edu, or you can give our office a call at 269-387-3180. I've also listed on here, Dr. Jennifer Harrison, who's our interim director for the School of Social Work, and Dr. Linda Reeser, who is the BSW program director. And then, of course, Jill Hamilton, who is our advisor. And you can set up an appointment with Jill by going to wmich.edu slash hhs slash advising. And you can sign up there on their calendar for in-person, virtual, or phone advising sessions. I'd highly encourage you to do that if you're thinking about adding this on. So let us know how we can help, and hopefully we'll see you in class soon.